Hello everyone, Pally Tum here. Welcome back to Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. In today's video, we are going to find all of the collectibles inside the Tangle Drift Zone. This zone can be really intimidating to navigate because of all of the different floating islands that you have to go to. But I think for collecting, it will actually make it easier because we can break off each area into sections like this will be one section this will be another section and we'll just work our way around the map like that there are two marbles 21 dice a bunch of poetry pages and of course an ancient obelisk that we have to take a look at while we're here we enter the zone from the northern side and as we make our way through this house we are going to turn left to find our first scroll. That's the first of the scrolls, and it was located right here on the map at the beginning of our trek through the zone. We have a poetry page you access by jumping off this ramp and landing on that small platform. There's also a gun chest here as well that uh, didn't do too much for me today, but poetry page acquired. Imagine a regent that stood on two legs. <laughs> instead of a stately and stable four. Did you like that one? You can hear the rest of it in the tavern. <laughs> no, not. Didn't really care for it. You can already see our 20-sided die located just above this flower here. You know, I seem to remember this place having exploding flowers stopping you from getting up here, but we made it up no problem and got our dice the first of 21 and it's located right here on your map but keep paying attention we don't have to go far we have a rune puzzle located just on the next platform to the south and like always i've never done these before so let's try to pay attention on, to where man, the lights go i didn't see any of them. The green's this way, though. Let's get moving. Those skeletons behind us will just have to wait. So as we're trekking through town, it looks like the first one is on this kind of mound to the left. Now, I do have an advantage with doing these because we are so heckin' fast with the Stabomancer subclass. Uh, moving up the ramp to this left side, we'll grab this one, and then it looks like we just have to simply double... Woo! Watch your step there. Double back the way we came. Actually, this one's underground. Nice. I wasn't sure you were gonna pull that off, newbie. Me either. But the rune switch challenge is complete. Just for reference, we're back at the start of that rune race. We're gonna look to our left and jump across this gap. You could, of course, take that bridge here as well. Looking to the left, we see this stone and wooden structure on the left side. Just above a hay bale, we find our second 20-sided die. And again, that was right here on the map. Looking southwest, we see a vine going over a building. This building is where we are heading. On the right side of the structure, you'll see some stairs. Going to the back porch. Well, on the back porch is another 20-sided die. And once again, that is right here on the map. From this area, I'm actually gonna double back a little bit. We're gonna go north and follow this pathway out. As you can see, there's an obelisk sitting in the middle of this floating island, and this obelisk will spawn a pretty big wyvern. A winged wyvern! Yeah! And, and wondrous! And, and worldly! Eh, we just have to kill him. It doesn't really matter how you describe him. He'll be dead soon. There we go. Just notice that uh, three out of my four weapons deal fire damage, and wyverns are resistant to that. So, uh, if, maybe look out for that in your game. <laughs> Back on our main island that we were exploring. I don't know why this text is still on my screen. I may have to fast travel to get that to go away. As we make our way back to the central island, you may notice that this civilian seems to be looking at a certain portal. We are right here on the map again, just as we got back from the obelisk. If we jump into said portal, it takes us to a marble. 
As you leave that building at the southwestern tip of this island, there is also a 20-sided die sitting by some boxes. I was trying to get down here uh, by just walking on that ledge, but that didn't quite work out for me. Now there is one more to gather on this actual island. And in order to get there, we're gonna need to go through this door that opens up throughout the uh, normal zone storyline progression. We're gonna hug the left side and make our way all the way to the very back. Watch out for this wind. It doesn't last the entire time. It has some breaks, but we'll find another marble right here. Next, we're going to be traveling through this portal, but I wanted to make sure you guys knew where that last marble was. This portal gives us access to a quest area. This, again, is one of the side quests that you can pick up. You're going to be <laughs> assisting a very patient wizard uh, with a task that he needs help with. There is a collectible inside of the house, but there's also one on the back lawn all the way here in the corner we will find a 20-sided die we are right here on the map to gain access to the other die we just need to make our way back towards this building in through the portal in which we'll be shrunk down to a very small stature if we just hop across to this table it'll be right here by the lantern after you're done, make your way back to the center of the map, and then we're going to start to work our way clockwise around. We are looking for these mushrooms that will bring us over to the other side. Simply hop on these. It will take care of the rest. On this island that you landed on, there is a collectible very close to where your feet hit the ground. If you just follow this walkway up and look on the balcony of this home, we'll be able to see a 20-sided die. Once again, that is right here on the map. There are two different mushroom paths that take you out of this area. We are on the eastern side of that same island, and we're going to be jumping over this way. This, once again, leads us towards another side quest that we've already completed, but there is a 20-sided die tucked away on this island that we need to grab. And it is at the northeastern corner, just behind this log cabin, located right here on the map. And that's the only one on this island. We need to actually backtrack back to where we were. And in order to leave, we are taking a different mushroom back to the same island. Now we're going to be looking for the other exit, which if we climb up here is just to our left. It's another mushroom that leads up towards this part of Driftwood. And up we go. I absolutely love this scene right when you come up, seeing the broken tower, the broken lighthouse, whatever that is. I think it's so captivating. This was one of my favorite zones to explore. Absolutely loved it here. The next collectible is going to be a scroll, and it's located just behind this house on the docks right here. Little town. Oh, how delightful it is to live in a place where nothing out of the ordinary ever happens at all. <sighs> <sighs> yes, indeed. Everything is just so wonderfully predictable around here, and nothing ever changes. Time for another routine day, just like every other... Wait, what's that sound? <laughs> and that's when we ruined everything. Follow the path that I just took, and you'll find yourself another 20-sided die on this floating platform. Numbers, go! Ooh, Natty 20! Now, this is where, in order to progress, we're going to have to work our way around this crumbled tower and jump across these islands uh, to continue on the main path. But we're actually looking for this side mushroom. I'll show you where it was on the map right after I land. That will launch us over to this other island. And the only reason this island exists is to get this 20-sided die. We jumped from right here on the map from a mushroom. And in order to get back, uh, all we have to do is run to the other side and there will be another mushroom waiting for us to send us back. So instead of stopping there to take that jump across, we're just going to keep running up the tower and take these mushrooms across to the next island. 
Once you arrive, you can actually see one of the 20 sided die just sitting atop a nearby island. And I think I see how to get up there. This doesn't look too hard. Jump onto that ledge. Perfect. I'm trying very hard to not use my movement speed to any advantage. Ugh, Natty one. Disgusting. Because we can zoom around quite quickly. So the main path is heading to the cathedral. That's to the northwest. Instead, we are going to face the opposite way and head towards the Don Quixote side quest. I loved this one. There is only one collectible this way, and it's inside of the main home located right here on the map. Now, in this area, there are actually four collectibles that we need to find. The first one we're going to go after is on the right side of the courtyard. It is a scroll sitting in the clearing. There is a lot going on in this castle, so I'll try to keep this as concise as I can. I already beat up most of the enemies in here to uh, hopefully alleviate some of the chaos. If you turn to your left right as you enter, there is a staircase that leads down with a gun chest at the end of it. But the gun chest is not why we are here. There is a false wall. We got a small glimpse of that for some reason. But if you melee this wall, it will disappear. Seems to me like a callback to the Dark Souls series, but you know, kind of everything's a Dark Souls reference if you play games nowadays. <laughs> Next, we need to make our way up these flowers in the main room. This is just off to the left side of the main chamber. If we climb up this rope on the left, it will lead us to this balcony where we can then jump on this flower and get ourselves another 20-sided die. I like that one. That's a fun little jump puzzle, he says as he drops his phone on the ground. And there is one more at the cathedral that we need to find. For this one, we're heading to the wall in the back of the main room. We're going to be following this ramp up to the top floor. Gun chest on your right as you're making your way up. You might as well get some extra loot with all of this luck that you've been building. I'll take the blue too. From this gun chest, if you keep making your way up and take these planks across, there is another gun chest just sitting here waiting for you to collect it. They packed in a lot of loot and a lot of collectibles in a very small area here. Now, how you're expected to leave this area is by taking this beanstalk down to the bottom of the area. However, we're going to make a small detour and get off on this island. Wow, that jump is kind of sketchy. That is kind of sketchy. Making our way around through a broken window, we find the last of the 20-sided die of this area. Now we just have to leave this area the way we were intended to leave, which is catching a ride back on this beanstalk. A mushroom will launch you over to this area, the Upkeep Keep. And there are a few collectibles that we need to find in here. If you're playing along with me, you should have six more of the lucky dice to go. And most of them are in this area. As we go through into the main courtyard, we're looking to the left. Up on this wall, we find a 20-sided die. To get there, all you have to do is get up these stairs and wrap around to the loot. We're just going to follow the normal intended path. As it goes past this beanstalk, you'll notice that on the left is another 20-sided die tucked away on the cliff's edge. Or should I say on the beanstalk's edge? Watch out for the wind. Don't get pushed off. I've made that mistake before. And collect your loot. Located right here on the map. After clearing out this courtyard located right here on the map, there's a lot of enemies in here. Uh, but if you manage to beat them all up, the next few collectibles are all very close to each other. So as we're moving through this archway, we're going to be looking to the right. It is kind of hidden from sight. But another illusionary wall hides a 20-sided die. 
I don't know how I feel about those illusionary walls having collectibles behind them. Certainly makes it difficult to spot. As we enter this room with the plant on the far side, we are going to look left and through this door, tucked back here in the corner, should be a scroll. There it is, scroll and a gun chest. So the next two dice are actually located on the upper floors of this room. If we head to the right, we can use these stairs. And as you approach this mirror, an enemy will jump out and fight you. If you jump through the mirror, located on the right, a 20-sided die. Oh, I wish I knew what this was a reference to. And a gun chest at the end of the room as well. From the air travel back through the mirror, and you'll notice some paint on the far side. That's a surefire sign that we can land on this platform. Gun chest on the left. Instead, we're gonna get our 20-sided die first to get that loot luck increase, and then open the chest. Ooh. Now all you have to do is follow the path the intended way, which is taking this beanstalk all the way down to the bottom. There are three targets on the way down. You don't have to do this. It's not for a collectible. But if you manage to shoot all three targets on your roller coaster ride, you will be able to get a gun chest at the very bottom. So far, I only shot one. Did I miss one there? I think I missed one. Oh, it's right here, right here. And then the last one is way up there. What? Oh, oh, here we go, here we go. Nice. Never actually attempted to shoot all three of those before. When we were doing this in multiplayer, I was just responsible for shooting one. <laughs> and my two friends got the other ones. Cool. So, uh, you may have noticed we're back at the very start of the level, but we do not have all of the collectibles yet. There's a good reason for that. That island over there, the one with the portal, has the one remaining 20-sided die we need. Well, how do you get to that island? Great question. You have to beat the final boss of the zone, the parasite who made all of this happen. And of course, you have to be following the normal quest chain to even have a chance of doing that. Jump across these flowers in the center of town. They will take you to the boss. Once we beat him, I'll show you exactly what to do. Man, this guy is so just crazy tanky. After he goes down, though, make sure you collect your loot. There might be something good in here. You never know. Then we're simply looking for the portal that we need to be taken out of this place and be delivered directly to the spot we need for the one remaining 20-sided die. Hey, don't leave this zone too quick, though. You work your way around to the other direction, the other side of the cabin. There is a scroll fool. I know he's a and a gun chest. From us. We've been his apprentices for well, if you followed me the entire way around this zone, then you should also be at 100% completion. If you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to hit the thumbs up button. It takes us quite a while to record this content and get it all edited up nice for you guys, and I sincerely hope you enjoyed it. We'll be taking a look at another zone inside of Tiny Tina Wonderlands very soon. Take care, and I will see you guys next time.